Hi and welcome back to Quinwell Pod Creations tutorial videos and today is a video of another of our live zoom sessions with our beading circle on Facebook on Sunday afternoon and today I'm going to show the um, peyote stitch on a hat broom so we need a hat that you'll need to use or a visor use Nymo nylon beading thread I use size 12 beetle on beading needles and a design that I created just for this project your first um, thing is to make your foundation row you will make one row which is on top and then you'll go back and peyote stitch row 2 into that first row making that foundation row for to put onto the brim of the hat you need to have them in two different threads so that you, the beads will be able to move around and lay right so here is my foundation row and i'm going to find the center of that row and the need to um move your beads over Another one, another one of the reasons why you have the foundation row on two threads. And I'm gonna measure the center of the brim and apologize for the wrong type of measuring tape, but kind of was in the live zoom and grabbed what I had. Um, measured the center of the hat and I marked it so that I could start and I apologize I kind of screwed up on the video um, and messed up the beginning but you're gonna start with those single beads you're just basically tacking down the single beads so you would start this first bead in the same way that I'm doing the single bead on these sets so I'll bring down a set which will be two beads set on top of each other and then a single bead so that first single bead would be done just the same way as I'm doing here so I'm going to come up to the left side of that single bead and I'll be coming up through the two beads that are there and I'll be on the left side of that single bead and I make sure I get it to where I want it to be and then I'm gonna go through that single bead and get it over where I need it the position I want it to be in need to um, kind of push them over and I want to make sure I have a little bit of space in between there and then I'll come go back down into the brim of the hat on the right hand side of that single bead so that tacks down that single bead and those other two are left to be used in the next row of peyote so I'm going to make sure there's a little bit of room in each one so that your design will be able to fold over the hat brim and not stand straight up so push down another set those two beads and then one single bead get them over into the position I want them in come go up in between the two beads and two threads there on the left hand side of the single bead go through that single bead Make 
sure it's in the right position that the spot you want it to be so you'll see where to go back down so you're gonna go back down through into the brim on the right hand side of that single bead so you're just coming up through the two beads and then tacking down that single bead so we'll put another set over get them in where I see where I want that single bead to be and then come up through the two beads and go through that single bead and then go down into the brim on the right hand side of that single bead and tack down that single bead and that's how you start your foundation row starting with that center bead in the middle and then you'll come back and do the peyote through every other bead there so move another set over and tack down tack it down and can you continue that tack down uh, all those single beads set now this is your foundation row that you made of two rows of the center of the design So you come up on the left hand side of that single bead, go through the bead, and then go back down on the right hand side of that single bead. All the way to the end of the brim. Uh, my video was kind of screwed up so. Now we'll have start those little diamonds and do peyote all the way around. So I'll tie a knot and go back into the center and I'm gonna take off my painter's tape. You would have seen in the beginning of the video that I rolled that up into painter's tape so that it would stay out of the way. This is the other half of the foundation row and I kind of messed up the video when we were filming it live so apologize for that so now we're going to start on the left hand side of that center bead that center beads already tacked down so now I'm going to come up through those two beads next to that center bead and I'm going to go through the single bead that's there hard to see because they're black mm, go that down through the left side of that single bead and tack it down and move 
move another set over. Get it into position where it should be. And I'll go up through in between the two beads and through the single bead and back down through the brim on the left hand side of that single bead. So you're just repeating the process, but you're going in the opposite direction. So get that needle in there <laughs> and secure it down. over another set and continue with that between the two beads up go through that single bead and down into the brim through the left side of that single bead. And just continue on. Um, putting that foundation row down all across the brim. And that is how I put my foundation row on for my peyote stitch brim hat. Um, you can, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be making another video for how to do the peyote design after I, after you um, attach the foundation row. So you can visit my website at www.quinwapawcreations.com. You can see what I have in my shop there or read my blog. So you can also stop by and join my Creation Corner Beading Circle and take part in our live Zoom sessions on Sunday afternoons would be great to have you please answer all three questions when you're asking to join if you like these videos and would like me to continue you know, providing the the educational videos please buy me a coffee i will put the link in the description so i can um continue providing all this information for free i love doing it but i need your support so thank you i hope you enjoyed this and see you next time <music>